Hey, yo, what up to YouTube? Hey, it's your boy doing again. Yeah, so what I'm doing today, um, I'm gonna do some work on my bike. So I say, might as well I share it. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, I'm gonna remove and replace this um, upper light and the Honda Honda CBR 600RR. Um, so I, I bought it like this. I don't know what happened there. Um, I've, it's got no previous that it's been crashed or I don't know what happened. But anyway, so I bought one off eBay, and I'm gonna try replace it now. So sit there. So it's broken. As you can see there. You can see it's broken in the corner there and it's meant to be like that so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove the the wing mirrors so i've got my trusted little but i'm so i've already undone them already so when the point to note when you um when you're undoing these just make sure you're all in key is in good neck because if you don't then it's gonna round them out I've, I've seen that before so just um, be careful when you're doing all of that so I'm gonna remove these I'm just videoing on my own so that's why you see it's a um, little bit it's a little bit uh, shaky and everything so what I'm gonna do remove these and then and then the next part of the video I'll come back and show you so I'm gonna remove these I already start removing the screws from uh, and I'm gonna remove the this should just come out so I'm gonna remove all of that bit and then I'll show you where I got to so now um, so this is the new one I bought aftermarket item and um, I think I pay about 26 pounds or so for it I'll just literally take it out of the box now and now I've removed the uh, the um, wing mirrors, the mirrors also. and I've removed some of the screws so what I'm going to do now is just start to pop the front off a little bit let's see um, so I'm just going to start to give it a bit of tug there and as you can see it's coming off and yeah, look, if you look, just look behind there that's where it is so I don't need to keep taking it all off so on the hair, I just need to see what's all in that one so the person who did that one before me you can see it just started to come come out it just come out there um there's a wire on here as well which i'll need to unplug so i need to unplug unplug that and um, but because i'm using one hand again um i'll need to put set the camera up or what i need to do is just pause it for a minute and then do it and then come back to you so that's it there come off of there and then i'm gonna chain that over and put the other one on okay so i'll do that and then get straight back show you the next stage so where is it um yeah so the wire is just behind this yeah and there so that's Now I'm just gonna remove as you can see you can see the screw them in there so I'm gonna remove this and then put the the new one on that I've just got here so let me just go ahead and remove this one so that's the new one and that's the old one there I'm just gonna fit it onto the fit it onto here now hopefully it fits If I wasn't using one hand, then I would have, um, have shown you the full process. However, because it's the one hand business there, so it's hard to use the screwdriver and use a camera at the same time. So, now I've installed it. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, so take it up. You can see it in the, the right work on there. Yeah, so that's it. 
there's no one to fear in and I'm gonna put back this fearing onto the bike. So all I'm gonna do is now connect back this this wire here. This wire back onto onto there. And then underneath here, as you can see there's a little it's a little port under there where you need to stock it back into so it doesn't dangle around okay I'll, I'll do that and then um finish installing about this one so just now is that i'm trying to lock this connection in i'm trying to lock it in however i just realized it's slightly different slightly different from this one so even though it, it does look very very similar but um when i'm trying to lock it in there it doesn't do it however it, it still it does work so if i turn the key on i can still get light see the running light is still on and the upper light is still on so it's, it's okay so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna use some electrical tape and tape it tape it round so that uh, water doesn't get in there um it still work but it just doesn't want to lock in as good as um the original um light um i think you know you know when it's aftermarket and all of that then it's um that's what you get but you have to just um get it screwed away so everything now is gonna be back in in um reverse so i'm just putting back this on now i'm just gonna put back the start putting back the screws in in here to put back the the wing screen on and then the wing mirror so it's not a difficult process i'll show you as soon as i finish with it now so i'm just gonna yeah so i've tucked away these nicely the wires nicely back on here i need to put back the screws in there and it should be sit pretty good okay i'll just do that now so i've now attached i've put back everything together the mirrors are on, the light is looking good, uh, no more cracks or damage on there. Um, yeah, that's it really. Um, so if you, again, if you like the video, and you, um, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Yeah, thank you YouTube.